Greetings to you, beautiful soul, energy, cancer, and let us take a look at money messages for you for today. And the hat is back, okay? So, um, I, I saw the devil card coming up a lot in, while shuffling. You could be dealing with uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And on the bottom of the deck, we wound up with the seven of wands. So your first card is the high priestess. A lot of people are jealous of you, and this is a love reading because of your high spiritual gifts. I need you to be protecting your energy right now. People don't want you to be protecting your energy. This conversation is also about to change because this is how we're going to start taking our power back. Um, protecting ourselves because people wanted to see us open and vulnerable. You, Cancer, open and vulnerable so that they could continue targeting you. One person in particular that keeps looking at you, I hear selfish, um... The seven of wands energy, one person that seems to be obsessed with you, jealous of you, uh, possessive or controlling or vindictive or just, um, you know, not into you possibly. They see you as the high priestess right here. They see you as like being this open thing. Even though the high priest, the high priestess, they see you as like an open charged field or something that they can come in and take from. Come in and take from, come in and take from. So someone wants to continue coming in and take from you. This is a person that may um, indulge in the, the crushing out of the palm situation. And they stand up, they may be shirtless, they may be a little bit tall, and they may be dark in some way shape or form maybe not necessarily but this is a type of person that they stand around and they watch you and they um you need to protect yourself from this person we're gonna see we're gonna i want to see there's something about your energy like i say even though you are high priestess you're like um let's let's put it as a witch or like whatever a spiritual being some of you will say you're highly spiritually gifted. And something about that makes someone think that you they should come in and target you. I feel I don't know why. Um I don't know why. Like it's like I don't know, it's bordering on, on admiration and jealousy. And it's giving me evil too with the devil card. Alright, so we're talking about this. This is what we're reading about. So let's see. Your second card is the Five of Cups. Alright. This someone wants to make you feel like this energy. And I'm sorry. I hope we get a lot of clarifications. Someone like. Uh, let's say hypothetically speaking. Let's say none of this is true. Right. Alright. Someone would want to make you entertainment purposes only. None of it is true. None of it is true. None of it is true. Someone would, have wanted, would want to see you sad and missing and feeling lacking and drained. It's like someone felt like they would have delighted in seeing you sad. So they take one thing from you and then they see you look sad about it and they go <laughs> one down. And they do something else and they see it affect you again and they go <laughs> one down. So I don't know what is going on. Another one down. I don't know what's going on with this person. It's giving me triggered as well. Someone is triggered by you. So this is what is happening. Someone is triggered by your high priestess energy. That is what. They're so triggered. And they don't know what to do with the energy that they feel triggered by. So they think to, to they get uh, they're attached to your energy now. So like I say, protect your energy from this person. They're attached to your energy because they're triggered by you so it's like even though they're triggered they still keep coming around coming around to, to be more triggered be more triggered be more triggered be more triggered all right so this is feeling like some type of a positive like a dangerous situation i'm feeling like that this person would be getting themselves in in this story because they're gonna trip themselves up in some way right this person that is triggered by you I want to really explain the feeling. Say it's like they say a person they like you or they love you, but they kind of age don't at the same time. So instead of showing you love and care, they show you the opposite of it. They want to see you affected. You could be a writer or a reader, or you have a spirit a channel online or something. But this person they can look at you. This person they have family members too, and they wouldn't like if if things were to happen to their family members you know what i'm saying they don't they wouldn't like that because even though we're saying this seems like an evil situation this person they do have people other like other life as well 
when they're not paying so much attention to you and they're not being triggered by you but i feel like this person they choose to come around to be triggered by you for some reason <clears throat> they choose like they, they you know when somebody it's like they feel like they can take out their feelings on you take out their in their irritations on you i want to talk about it some more okay so that's how they be feeling so we're going to use oracle cards to see what else we can get from this so you need to protect yourself from this person you need to get this person out of your vibrations vibration see <laughs> Don't be, this guy says complacency. Don't be complacent about it. Don't play about it. Like cut, cut, whatever you got to do. Use your gifts and your powers. Call on your dogs. I don't know. Right? Get this person away from you. Okay, beautiful soul. Call on your ancestors. Right? This and certain things that you do and say it keeps triggering this person like they don't they, like this person is saying they're not going to forgive you right they don't want to forgive you they want to remain feeling malicious about you this person they like i think they like playing games with you they enjoy tr they enjoy triggering you because they're triggered to do so so they think you're playing with them this is what this person is feeling like you know they think that you essentially are playing with them so no they want to come play with you but you're not playing with this person so you're not talking to them you don't you you're not trying to trigger this person deliberately but they even when you are even when you you've turned to your back like so this person they come and still trying to trigger you so that they you can still come play with them even though you weren't playing with them in the beginning workaholic Okay, so this person, they just, they, I feel like they, they're dodgy and they like to play. They like to play these games, okay? They like to play these kind of games. This person could be almost like a troll. So you see, they, they're trying to put you in a victim energy with this five of cups energy. I hear loss, okay? But it's like a game that they're playing in some way. And this person, I feel like they better be mindful that they don't turn out to be a victim of something. That could happen really quickly. I hear this is card is saying release, like something like that, and gratitude. This person, it's like they were trying to get you to do, to be something in in to curve you, to groom you in some way, so that you could um be more in a form that they would uh they they like to see less triggering to them, less triggering to them. I don't know what that meant. It somehow meant you not being in your high priestess energy. It meant you closing that book, not writing that book, not publishing that story. That's what it meant to this person. Because the more you continue being high priestess, speaking out and blah, 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 speaking out the truth, doing what it is that you're doing, connecting to your soul, connecting to your spirit. Literally, you're just so pure. You're like a black sheep. You're purely innocently doing your work here. And then there's one little menace. Okay, or so maybe it's like seven, two. I don't know. Okay, and I, I feel like you're so you're a sincere person, you're sincere, you're genuine, authentic, you're real, you're soft, you're nurturing, you're kind, you're healing. But something in you just triggered that person. I don't know why. And it's from it's like from that ignition, they couldn't stop wanting to come around you. So I feel like no, most high wants to give you this awareness so that you protect yourself, so that this person, you so that you're protected. Facade, leave you alone. Fate, be strong in your heart, have courage, wisdom. Things are going to work out for you. Yeah, five of, I mean. Knight of Wands. I hear migrate. Okay? <sighs> migrate. So something is happening quickly. It is happening like speedily behind your back. Right? You're also you're 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 attractive. Yeah. You're like a saltest energy and it's something about spring. You're like fresh spring. You're so good and nice. You're like a nice spring day or springtime. And you're also like very thrilling and exciting hot you know and you're delightful you spend time quality time doing spiritual things you know 
there's some type of a sadness though let's see so did i say migrate and someone is wanting to like move back to you or someone want, is wanting you to shift move or something like this and someone like wanted to take something out on you three of swords yeah this person they're gonna come up against they're gonna like get a taste of their own medicine like something something they, like you see you are also a prophet you know you know you're a feeling being so i'm telling you that the five of wands the knight of the five of cups sorry the knight of wands and the three of swords mm -mm. okay someone is just let's clarify that three of swords card service like someone is doing the someone is <clears throat> victim like someone is doing the wrong thing they're not thinking before they act completion someone is jumping to conclusions someone is just heightened in their emotions right now and they can't it's like they can't see clearly or see past how, the intensity of how they feel aggression anger passion right so they they, they it's like Someone is trying to say, no, don't do this. And they're like, leave me alone, flashing someone off so that they can move, continue like going to someone like, maybe someone has some type of a beef energy um, with themselves, okay? Because they're not going to be able to come toward you. You are having some type of a renewal energy or you're getting this information. Like someone, someone may have tried to break you down in some way. I think sometimes you attract um, masculine energies that are aggressive toward you for some reason, because um, it's like a, some energy that you have within yourself. I'm not sure what it is though. Like you have an energy about you, okay? And it triggers like masculine energies are triggers people self worth self um, worth energies self-esteem um balance focus integrity all right creation creation card all right maybe you don't know what it is that you do because i want i hear jealous and i feel like i was about to say i wonder if someone is feeling like you step on their coin or you offend them in some way like i was saying earlier that is why they feel triggered but maybe you're wondering how did you really offend this person i think this person they feel like you somehow disregard them in some way shape or form and so now here they come so let's see who is this person vanity and guilt yeah someone is like upset at you or i don't know if it is directly at you but they seem to be upset like grrr, for some reason but like they want to blame you they want to put something on you they want to act savage toward you and you're standing here like what is going on what did i do to this person but someone is trying to hold this person back from you but like even the people trying to hold this person back from you they, they they still don't know they don't really they kind of agree with this person in some way shape or form because they're not really on your side you're like the one on your side um here so and so but the law is on your side our principle is on your side or something balance right justice is on your side so this person they cannot directly come to you and like touch you enlightenment card okay so it's like guilt and vanity it's like something is going on but you don't realize that it's bothering someone so much like someone is really upset about something so much confusion all right you're like so what's up what what it could be about some something about a mother energy creation someone feel like they created something and you disregarded it or you like affected it in some way perception like someone feel like you crush the like you either you crush their heart or you crush their a i literally is about to say a r t because i saw someone like creating some type of artwork and they feel like you crush it or you're interrupting their work or someone is feeling like you crush their heart or their pro something you something like this this is a love reading all right so someone is triggered by you so how can you protect yourself abundance energy 
some of you you're gonna relocate you're gonna leave you're gonna get um you're gonna invest in something something about money or inheritances or speaking your truth like because you're you're protected you have like a royal your royal energy around you sovereign energies liberal energies around you protecting you from this person from um rights energies around you to balance supreme energies around you that uh is hearing you and kind of keeping you from this particular person i hear oops you have maybe your family father energies around you too um yeah with this for sale card in the back of this house there's a house you may like still you may move or you may buy a new house or a new car or something you may put something up okay mm -hmm. in order to protect yourself because you see this person that's trying to take their problems out on you they're also realizing that they were doing too much you know they were overdoing something with this card here Mm -hmm. That's but they will realize it after you have gone. They they like after you pack up and you sell your house or you move on or you buy a new yacht and you go sail the seven seas or whatever this thing is that you were holding on to. When you finally decide to like sell it, let's sell it and cash it in and move forward. This person is gonna realize that wow, something wisdom. Okay, this person could be some someone that drinks. Okay. Yeah, this person, the H word. It's like a H word energy that they wanted to take out on you. Something malicious. But it's because it reflected something within themselves. They wanted to try to prove something. But they were trying to use you to do so. And I feel like you're innocent. I promise you. With this high priestess card it's giving me your it's your innocently doing something that is triggering someone or whatever you are doing you are completely innocent in it okay you're innocent in it just i wonder if naive is and it's not naive because there are some energies of ends of protection around you you know, like physically, spiritually, financially, whatever, family, tangible, and um, protection and spiritual protection around you. Balance. There is protection for you. Protection around you. Speak protection around you also. Because someone was unjustly trying to take something out on you that was not meant to happen. And you're, you're being heard. You're being heard with this prayer card. Okay? You're being heard. You're being also lifted up from that situation that felt dangerous. Something was deadly or something was backfiring. Yeah, someone, this person, they, they're going to have to, their true colors coming out is the energy. And no, it's like, so the way how they responded or reacted, they someone is going to reprimand this person so you're gonna see their true internal raw rawness all right and because of that this person they will be put they will be like something 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 so you also watch your energy watch how you respond and watch how you react not controlled you know but just how you respond for your better self all right because something was supposed to be triggering to you something what what am i tasting smoothie or porridges or something like that so you're being heard it's like you're being lifted out the yellow energy supreme energies right you're being sort of saved or protected like i say saved saved you're being s-a-f-e-d saved from this from this situation all right it's like um you were out in the ocean going back and forth and um all around you it was like sharks and you were like oh my god i need someone to come and rescue me and then a helicopter come down and it's like oh, hallelujah so you're being lifted up like saved it's your safe you've saved your way out of something okay so you had to call on higher energies for help because like they were trying to pressure you down to dog you down to corner you circle you to intimidate you 
lurking around to see what you were gonna do but also they were they were knowing that somehow you are protected so it's like they were waiting to see if um they were wait cause it's like they know that they wanted to, i don't know somehow they knew you were protected though like they somehow worked around you in some way like um i hear daddy i hear sheep like i'm seeing alligators i thought they would be sharks but could be and they they somehow knew that they couldn't exactly come close close to your turf or inside it or something but this is i'm telling you you know so you know if you need to get some assistance do so right they were waiting to see if like maybe to see when something would happen because they, they know you're, you're safe you know for example there are vampires going back to thank you most high energies i love you going back to the devil card we saw right um they have to wait till the sun go down or something so you were standing in light yes you were standing in some light energies right in truth in light in sovereign energies in divine and divine energies supreme energies so that's how you were standing in light you know one of the vampire movies where they, they can't really come if they come so they have to like wait until the sun move but you're just standing in the light and maybe they were waiting on the light to run out so that they can like close in the circle close in the circle so you you had to get help from above in some way so I'm telling you, like, you're being saved out of a situation where they, these vamps be lurking around you. So be mindful. They're trying to test you to see how you're going to respond if you're going to call unhelped. They're going to try to see how you respond if they throw a stone in the light section. They, and they're like hyenas, too, because they're, they're playing games. They're playing games. All right? They're low lives. Okay. <clears throat> so this is what I'm saying. Like after you leave this energy. Like I was saying after you leave this place. Some of them will start to. Or at least maybe one person will begin to think that. Um, they were doing too much. You know like I'm getting goosebumps energy like the book. Because something is kind of like strange and eerie. But it's like, after you leave, I'm feeling the goosebumps energy. It's after you leave that this person is sitting here feeling like something is strange with them, strange with the surrounding. Because after you leave, they're thinking, you're not there enough. And I'm reading, I can write a goosebump story about what happens with this person after you leave. Because somehow something is dawning on them. Like they were doing too much, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if you, you I don't know if you come listen be mindful of the r word okay they could like okay beautiful soul um and vand vandalism all right but god forbid any of that happens in the name of the most high call on the most high energies touch a grammar and open this for protection and guidance and may no harm may you ascend into safety may you may you continue being safe queen of swords yes i continue speaking that protection over your life you are being heard queen of swords these i feel like these people they cannot touch you you are forced to be reckoned with i also feel like if they try to come toward you they're gonna be bounced back like <coughs> vibration because yeah like mm -hmm. there's such there's a light around you such truth and power and someone is really anger angry at our we are forceful around you that is protecting you all right this could be prayer pray hard or something or write or intend call on your spirit so someone also did not like how protected you are okay um we have the energies of the queen of swords which may be looking like it appeared that there wasn't a lot um of productivity around you or you were still for a while but it does feel like you were laying awake you're still very much awake and active and see, sensitive and seeing and alive right but maybe they they didn't realize that 
six of swords the karma water is coming whatever you're experiencing it's gonna pass it's gonna pass by you you're gonna get truth and clarity you're gonna be in karma waters it's gonna clear up all right so from the stormy waters of three of swords to the six of swords promise you okay beautiful soul all right so you're gonna be feeling healthy and happy oh my gosh i promised the ace of diamonds